Hey everybody, how's it going? I just bought something for my wife because she has COPD emphysema. And after you walk a while, you get tired and you have to sit down. And the problem is, if you're at a grocery store or somewhere else, there's no place to sit. So I found this on Amazon. It's got a little carry handle like this. Um, it weighs probably like maybe a pound. I can tell you the exact weight in a minute. This Velcro is off right here. And you can use it as a shoulder strap, which I'm not going to mess with because it's so nice on there now. But this transforms into a stool. And it's pretty cool because you can basically, you put your fingers in the slots and unlock is one way and lock is the other way. So basically, you're gonna, pull, you're gonna twist one way, pull it out and twist it back to lock it, like this. And there it is. So there's your stool that if you wanna go Ta -da. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go grab my scale and I want to see how much it weighs. We got them on Amazon and uh, it's pretty, I think it's pretty damn cool. But you can see how they all interlock here. I mean, so when you do these to make sure they're locked, this line has to be straight all the way down like that because they just flip over and lock. So when you want to unlock it, you put your fingers in the hole. I can't see where they are. You pull out and you turn and it all closes right down. If I can turn it right. There we go. I had to turn it a little harder. So let's see what it weighs. It weighs 2.3 pounds, 2.2 pounds. That's all it weighs. So it only weighs a couple pounds. So it isn't like you're dragging around, you know, some big monster. This is the bottom. It's got these little crosshair feet on it. But yeah, the more you do this, the easier it gets because you can pull it up like this a little ways and have a little tiny short stool for the kids to go camping or whatever. Um, you can put it at any height, really, or you can pull it all the way out for maximum height. And the maximum height, let me grab a ruler quick. All right, let's see what we got here. Maximum height is about 18 inches. So 18 inches is... Well, let me see what it compares to uh, my stool. Yeah, so it's about almost the same height as uh, the stool I use in the garage. My garage stool is probably like another inch higher. All right. So there's a difference. But this is cool because I, I wasn't going to make a video of it. But I was thinking, hey, you know, there might be people out there that need to take a little cheap chair with them to sit on. You know, if you got somebody in your family that runs out of steam quick, and it looks like it's straight, but it's actually tapered down on both sides. And then they put a warning on, like, don't be leaning this way on it or don't be leaning this way on it. But it shows it holds <clears throat> two people on it. So it's kind of interesting. So... They got all different colors. I just happened to pick the red because that's my wife's favorite color. She likes red. So pull it out, turn it all the way, and then she goes. Got it right that time. But this little piece here locks on the bottom. And that's it. So it's pretty cool. Let's see, how big is it when it's closed? All right, when it's closed, it's about two and a half inches. Yeah. 
about two and a half inches when it's closed. So if you want one, they're like twenty-five dollars. They got they got a gay pride rainbow one. They've got uh every time I see a rainbow, that's automatically is gay pride, you know what I mean? Thanks to them, they ruin rainbows, because I used to like rainbows until they took it over. But and then they got all different types of colors. So look in the description. I'll put a link in there and uh check them out like 25 bucks it's not bad so i'm gonna keep this in my car and whenever we go shopping or somewhere like that if she runs out of steam or whatever she said she could have used this today but so there it is another useful chinese product Wait a minute, does it say made in china on it it's got to say it they always say it well you can check out the link and check it out but like i said this this strap here comes off and it's a shoulder strap so you carry it you know like that but oh well that's uh that's one of the cooler things i've got today but it's nice so you can buy something that can help somebody out and then um what the hell did I do with my needles? My All of my needles came in. Oh, I think I left them in the house. Hang on. Let me go grab them needles, and I'll show you. All right. So these are the needles that I ordered to get into those bearings. And that should be... If you look at the size of my finger. That should be easily enough. Let me even zoom in more if I can here. Hang on. Whoop. I don't know if it's going to focus this close, but. Oh, my God. I got to get rid of this phone. Anyways, these are little tiny needles now that I could stab into the bearing. There you go. Now you see it. I could stab it into the bearings and get grease into them. Your grease fittings on this end. So I got this one. Let the crackheads see this. They'll be buying them all. There's this one, which is almost as identical to the other one. This got a really sharp point on it. That's got a really sharp one. So I can stab into the non-sealable, you know, bearings that can't be sealed. Oh, and this is a little bit skinnier one. So, this way, let me see what if I can do it. Let me grab the old bearing. So this is my idea of the bearing. And if you can grab this thing and stab it in there and uh, get it greased in there. But I don't know if that's going to work. I think I just bent my tip. I think I just bent the tip on it. Oh, well, maybe I have to drill a little tiny hole first. It's probably going to be best. Yeah, I think I bent the tip a little bit. Well, they're only $3, so ain't that much of a loss. So, I mean, this is an old one anyway, so this, this rubber here is hard. The newer ones are a lot softer. But, I mean, if I could peel the rubber off, grab the rubber, hook it off, and then use a needle thing to squirt the grease all in there and put cap back on i mean that may work but so there's three different ones that i got and uh that should help out sometime so you can find these on amazon just uh they're basically just called a grease injector needle that's all it basically is so and that's it. So that's all the toys that I got today. I'll keep all three of them in one package. And then I'll, uh, I'll put it over here next to my trusty grease gun section. I'll put them right here. That way I'll know where they are. I like keeping my stuff together. Boy, nice cool day today. I can't believe it. It's nice out. 
Still got a mess over here I didn't clean up yet. I gotta find a home for him. Gotta find a new home for that guy, my new trusty tool, which I'm sure I can clean out one of these drawers maybe. Stick it in there. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find a home for it all. I got that box too, so. Oh, you know. Let's see. I think I got an empty drawer in here. God, it's amazing the crap you can accumulate over time. Come on, empty drawer, empty drawer. No empty drawers. Didn't catch a stupid chipmunk yet. I see the hole in the back of the garage where he's coming in. All right, well, we're going to have to find an empty drawer later. And go from there. I'll find a home for it later, but for now, I'll just put them over here. I'm getting too much crap on my bench again. I don't like my bench over here getting all messy, but I made that big mess. When I was changing the fans around on the lawnmower, I can't wait to get out there. Oh, speaking of which, I went on eBay and I bought like two indoor-outdoor thermometers. And there's a small little digital ones and they light up. Because what I'm going to do is the sensor, I'm just going to take, pull this down. I'm going to tape the sensor wire to this pipe and then one to this pipe. And then I'll make a little plate that screws into here or something, you know, and angle them out. So I can see what the temperature going is, yeah, going in is, and coming out. That way I can see if this is working or not. Because if it ain't going to work, then i got to put it back the other way. But <clears throat> So, i got to save my little rubber feet just in case my big plan doesn't work. <clears throat> and that is about it so so if you want one of these collapsible chairs look in the description and if you want one of those grease <clears throat> grease needles just search Amazon for a grease needle and if you want to know how much stuff weighs you can buy one of these on Amazon it's called the crane scale but this is this is, helps me out a lot knowing, you know, how much stuff weighs. I put all these things just hanging on it. Because I don't know where else to put them right now. But, everybody said hi to my beard. It's gone now. Hi, beard. Do you miss me? <laughs> Alright, everybody. Have a good one. Don't forget to shut this light off. I always do. And I'll catch you later. Enjoy your weekend coming up. I don't think I really got much going on. All the lawns are done and there's nothing left to do. So, look at it outside now. I mean, it's, it's nice out. Charlie is having a blast over here. Oh, that's Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Oh, there she is. Oh, you got such a big meow. Hi, Sidney. She is so soft. She's such a good kitty. She's such a good girl. I know. She's like petting a cotton ball. Yes. She's got such a little tiny meow on her. Fiona. Come here, Fee. Hi, little Fee. Hi, little Fee. Their little face on her. Hi. <laughs> I know you got such a big meow. That's all she does. Little tiny meows like that. It's funny. And her brother Charlie's got the huge meow. So he's like meow. I think Charlie got half of your meow. I know. You silly face. All right, everyone. I'll catch you later. Take care.